Hey y'all, I'm Fezador, and we are resuming the Sigil walkthrough on the Ultraviolence difficulty for the PC using GZ Doom. Now, I know it's hard to believe, but we're approximately halfway done with the Sigil walkthrough already. So, uh, we are on map 5, Abaddon's Void. So, um, a little bit of trivia. Abaddon comes from ancient Hebrew, meaning place of destruction. So, um, with that being said, let's get the party started. And uh, we're under attack right away by multiple imps, so let's take out those two gunners at our level clock. And yes, those are two cyber demons we just woke up. Alright, and take out, take out that gunner there. Lost, there's two lost souls of imp on the ledge to our right. And they're duking out. Ooh, the imp won. What do you know? Alright, let's take out the Kako before it comes to problematic. Let's take out these four imps here. Better take them out now while it's easiest. Awesome. Alright, and these imps here. Alright, so we'll take these guys out here on our left. I mean, one less thing to worry about. Grab the goodies. Okay, so our first secret right here, um, by this red-orange torch. Let's grab that. Alright, so we'll traverse through the tunnel here. On, on the other side there are two gunners, one on the left, one on the right. We'll take them out accordingly. And yes, that's one of the cyber demons right there. We have to be quick about it. Because he will splatter marine in two seconds flat. Alright, so this switch right here, which I was trying to get to, um, it will reveal a lift for us back in that tunnel. So we'll go over there right now, we'll uh, get our shotgun, there he is, there's a gunner, and we'll take out the chainsaw and take out this demon. Usually the demon tries to run away, but I caught him in the nick of time. Alright, where is that gunner at? There we go, and we'll take out... Our chainsaw, because there is another demon next to that gunner. I know it's... Uh, and here's a window right there. Uh, we will be crossing that ledge in just a second. But for our second and final secret, there is a rocket launcher. We'll see if we can grab these rockets. Well, I'm not going to mess with that if I can't grab them, so... Alright, so now that we're on the other side, pull out the chain gun, drop down, uh, push the lion face, and then uh, we'll take out a couple of gunners and infinite evil. That's all well and good. We'll step on the silver pentagram. Which will reveal a couple of some goodies and a couple of lost souls. Alright, we'll push a second lion face. Alright, we will fire a couple of rockets over at the general direction of these two cacos. Alright, and I'll see if I can maybe take the chainsaw and finish them off. There's one Kako down. The other is not far. I know that for a fact. There he is. I knew it. Pick up these two imps. Where's the other imp? Maybe he's dead. I don't know. I thought it... Alright, so to get out of here, we're going to hit the silver platform one more time. Revealing some stairs, which will take us back to... Uh, next to the ledge we just crossed a minute ago. There is some blue armor on the other side, but it's a little too risky to get that. We will have our opportunity soon. So what we need to do is we're going to try and get back on top of that uh, tower again. Take the lift up. Cross it across the bridge. Alright, so what we're going to do is instead of going straight on this ledge... Ooh. That cyber demon is very, very powerful, so be very careful. And there's the other one, too. So here we go. We're taking a left instead of a right. All right. Now we're in this building, so we'll be careful for imps and gunners. So what we're going to want to do is, uh, very carefully, cross over here and hit the skull switch. Okay. 
take out the gunners. And there are a few imps and a couple of lost souls. Die! There are like 10 imps. that much damage but I'm not too worried there is um, some health coming up shortly so that's got to take out this demon all right I cannot drop down there otherwise uh, there's no way up if I'm not mistaken so I will take this rocket launcher shoot the eye looking thing and uh, I'll just get to work on this cacti demon it's just too risky to use a chainsaw right now because I just don't have the health one bite will do me in, most likely. There we go. There goes a lost soul. Oh my goodness. Bunches of souls. Alright, Berserk is mine. I need that terribly. Okay. There are a ton of lost souls around here. So we're going to go down the stairs here, take out all these souls. There's like 20 of them down here. Alright, so this bloody floor, it's non-toxic, it will not hurt you. So you can step on it safely. Alright, take out the imps. There's an imp and a couple of, one caco, and a ton of the uh, lost souls. Right. Well, I got some ammo. I could probably use a chain gun right now. Being said, there's this cack demon. Let's chainsaw him to death. You know, not that it'd be kind of funny. What if the cack demon floats up, you chainsaw him, and you're, you go 50 feet above the ground? Does he carry you with him? You know, does he carry you with him? Um, I don't know. I, it's something I don't think would be possible to do, Benjamin, but um, I just thought it was kind of amusing, I guess. Just something that came to me mind a second ago, but whatever. Alright, so we got the blue key. Uh, we're going to take this teleport, but we got to be quick because we're going to be in the sight of at least one of the cyber demons. So let's get going. Alright, so we're going to take this teleport, and we went ahead and we telefragged him. So now we're at the face of the blue door. We're going to use our chain gun and wipe out most of the enemies. All that's left is Baron and an imp. All right, let me. Uh... All right, he's gone. All right, so we'll take this teleport to grab this yellow key he's guarding. got the yellow key. Okay, what we're going to want to do is we'll go left 
and go to this island over here with this red brick building. Alright, so now we're gonna enter this brick building. Take out the gunners. And the demon. And here's the yellow door. So now a switch is revealed. And a cack of demons, some gunners, and some imps. Ow! That didn't feel good. Alright, is that everybody? Okay, now we'll flip this switch. Alright, we got some ammunition with the chain gun, so we can go ahead and fire away with this. Ow! monsters that come down. <sighs> I'm not comfortable with this low health. Shotgun shells, I will gladly grab them. Oh, a Baron! Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop back down. Grab the rocket. going to get those um, rockets and then I will uh, um, go back up the lift here and get the mega armor I was talking about. I completely forgot about that. It's not a secret, it's not an item, but it's a really nice thing to have. And there's only a handful of monsters left, but you know, it's, um, it's just a nice thing to have. Alright, so we're going to take a left here, and voila! Okay, um, I don't think there's any more health here, so I'm just going to drop down. <clears throat> yes, this will have to do. Alright, so back we go. Okay, um, lifts, sorry, I just lost my train of thought just for a second, but we're good. Alright, so we'll go back where the Baron's corpse is.
Yeah, I was thinking about using a rocket launcher, but in this tight spot, I just don't want to risk it. Okay. Um. Alright, I am still missing some items. Um. Alright, I'll go back up. So just an FYI. Um. There we go. There's probably some health bonuses or something that I probably forgot towards the beginning. That's my guess. Okay. I'm sorry, but I'm trying to get 100% of everything here without she. Oh! Health! Yes, I will gladly take you. Gladly take it. All right. I just want to grab everything. All right. anything in here. I don't think there's any items in these imp cages. No. Nope. That's okay. When there's like five or six missing, you know it's got to be health or armor bonuses. It's just normally what it is. So, And I'd bet dollars to donuts that's what it is in this case. There's no other secrets on this. Nope, that's it. That's the second secret, so... Um... Let me navigate this here building. Okay, there's one. Yep. Rockets, always nice to have. Two. There we go. That's it, exactly. That's what I was looking for. Um, one more. One more arm armor. It's got to be around here somewhere, right? I'll make one last sleep around. All right, let me loop around here real quick. There might be one around this red building, too. And one item. Huh. No. Yeah, I hate these wild goose chases. They're just completely unnecessary, but... Yeah, 23 out of 24. I mean, what's that one missing item? Oh, my goodness. They tag both secrets. Cross back over here, and it could be hidden in these trees or something. I don't know. There it is. There it is. It. Okay, perfect. Now we got all the items. So they're just stinking armor bonuses, but uh, I'm. I just don't want to leave without 100% items. I mean, that's just how I roll. So um, with that being said, let's blow this joint. I can't believe it took 20 minutes, but uh, it's a large map. It's the largest one so far. And uh, just hit the bathroom wall. Abaddon's Void. Woo! Um, I don't think it's actually. I think this is actually easier than the previous level because it doesn't have those nasty traps. Um, obviously, you got two cyber demons to worry about, but you don't 
path that you'd like the ride away. You can, uh, you, you know, you can tell a frag them later on level like the way I showed you. That's the way to do that. Um, I, I think difficulty-wise, it's probably... Uh, I would say it's probably a little harder than the third one, but not quite as hard as um, map four. Um, just because it doesn't have those nasty crushing ceilings. It's, it's difficult, but definitely not impossible once you know what you're doing. Um, it's a pretty, uh, you know, straightforward layout. Um, there's only two keys to get. They're not hard to find. There's only two secrets. The only thing about them is, is the one thing I don't like about it is the secrets aren't really worth the while. One of them is almost completely pointless. has a stim pack and shotgun shells, and the other one has a rocket launcher. I mean, the rocket launcher is nice and everything, but there's another rocket launcher in plain sight in this level, so... Um, I mean, I think some ammunition would be nice. Um, I don't think there was a soul secret all in this level, but you do at least have the mega armor, and that definitely helps a lot. Um, so, um, that's about all I have to say on this level, so we're going to press on. Unspeakable Persecution, map 6, and Willie will take care of that one next time. Um, yeah, this seems a little bit smaller, so uh, we'll tackle that one next time, and I will uh, catch you later. Have a good night, everybody.